Statistics from early 2021 state that almost 37% of all websites are using non-secure cookies. So in today's part two digital safety guide, I wanna talk about using the web safely. So what are some quick ways to know if a website is essentially safe or not? First, you wanna see a padlock symbol next to the URL. So if you don't see that padlock symbol, mm, maybe think about it. Second, you wanna see HTTPS in the URL, not just HTTP. Third, you wanna see a privacy policy on the website. They're thinking about these things, they're doing these things correctly. So privacy policy on the website is really important. And finally, you want that website to be accepting all major payment methods. So, you know, PayPal, cards. Additionally, just like in dating, there are four red flags and one is going to be the browser itself tells you this website is unsafe. Uh, that happened with me this past weekend trying to watch my nephew's game on some random stream. Basically, Google was like, hey, you don't want to you don't want to be on this site. Two, there are going to be mini pop ups or redirects to other shady looking sites. This is exactly what happened with me this past weekend. I kept getting redirected and rerouted to all types of awful uh, sites that had nothing to do with what I wanted to do was just watch the football game. Now, the third thing is the website only accepts bank transfers or wire payments. Just like on Craigslist, when someone says, I'm only gonna accept wires or blah, 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 and they try to, you know, basically rip you off and it's really obvious, um, that's the same for websites. Finally, there's also no return policy on the website. So if you don't see anything about a return policy, of course, you're gonna be looking for a privacy policy. If you don't see the privacy policy, that's bad. And if you don't see a return policy, that's another thing that could be a red flag when it comes to buying stuff or even just using something on the internet. In a lot of modern browsers, you're gonna find built-in tools for safety. We typically use Chrome. Chrome will block most pop-ups. It will send do not track requests to various websites to protect data. It disables unsafe flash content. It'll stop a lot of malicious downloads and it will make sure that we know exactly which sites can control our speaker, microphone, and camera. If you wanna take a look at all of these just to, you know, make it clearer for yourself, you can go into the privacy and security settings in your browser. So just go up to the left side, click in there, like, you know, preferences, all that, you're ready to go. But this of course isn't gonna capture everything because as we always know, People are always working hard to protect you and people are always working hard to exploit you. A big trick, honestly, is just to ask Google whether something's a scam. So, you know, you can go into Trustpilot or other review sites to ensure that the site that you're looking at is real, but you can also just go into Google and say, is X a scam? And Google usually will tell you like, oh yeah, this is a scam. Like everyone that has done this has been scammed. And for some reason it's still on the internet, but don't do it. Now I want to go a little bit deeper on these red flags. Now we have, of course, the, you know, too many pop-ups we talked about, but also too many exclamation points, flash warnings, um, redirections to other sites that look safe. Uh, but you also have to look for bad spelling and grammar. I mean, if someone didn't take the time to put it together, maybe they're hoping you're not taking the time to look at the site. Um, you know, there's no space to leave product reviews um, and prices that are honestly just too good to be true. So if you're thinking, hey, this uh, black magic camera is only $400 on this website. Be careful, be careful. Finally, when it comes to the fight against those bad actors on the internet who are trying to steal everything from you, potentially, um, you have things like Norton, Kasperke, McAfee, by Defender. Uh, you can read all about these over at security.org. You know, you can just Google various uh, web security tools, antivirus, things of that nature. And you know, they're really useful for enriching and making safe that overall internet shopping, internet search, internet Googling, uh, information seeking process. All right, folks, thanks for watching part two of our digital safety guide. We hope that it was useful for you. We're of course trying to keep you safe here at security.org. We're doing digital and home security at all times. My name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure.